Hi, I'm Lou. On the trail, I'm known as Antenna. On the amateur radio waves, I'm known as K4HNH. And that's Chris. Her trail name is Pink, and her call sign is KQ4CRY. Grab your pack and your radio. It's time to go hiking and hammock. Okay, so we are going to take a look inside the Gwinnett County Emergency Communications Trailer. Hi, welcome to the Gwinnett Aries, Gwinnett County Aries Emergency Trailer. Right now, we do use this, tra this trailer as a training tool to teach people about the importance of emergency communications. So this trailer was bought and built from members of the guards and the in that radio society. It's just a simple trailer that we refurbished. Everybody in the club essentially donated their help, their work, materials, and everything to build this trailer. The trailer is fairly basic, uh, but we did configure it to have HF communications, uh, d rods, you know, D-Star. Mm -hmm. We also have UHF, VHF, and DMR communications. And we have network computers that we can use also to do digital networking and digital communications. And our job is to communicate and to link the emergency services to the first responders and to the hospitals right. so that we can coordinate between all those agencies, help in case of a disaster. Excellent. So have you all had to deploy it recently or? Uh, not recently. You know, Gwinnett County now has their own truck that they built based on this. And other counties are building. Like uh, this morning I had a gentleman from the, uh, I guess he's from Talaga County area. Mm -hmm. You know, Sheriff's Department, they're going to build something like this because they don't have one. They're up in the mountains. They can get radios over there, but there's no way for them to communicate to other parts to ask for help or to help people. So it's important to have something like this because this is a link between the emergency services and the people that can provide the services and the people that are affected by the disaster. Excellent. Well, thanks for letting us come in and take a tour. and. Uh, We'll be putting this up on the channel. It's a really, really nice setup, y'all. Uh, very up to date, and I really like the dry erase uh, yeah, up here for the, the, these the are cabinets. Excellent cabinets. Yeah, we, we can keep all our supplies in there, and everything is velcroed or held down. So that when we move the trailer, and we can move this trailer anywhere, you know, every anywhere in the county, the mm -hmm. state, anywhere. And as soon as we deploy, we have people here who can staff the trailer, and we have people at the hospitals who can staff stations there. And each, each of the hospitals in Winnet County has a station built by our group mm -hmm. and maintained by our group, and the hospital provides the facilities. So we can have people deployed there for a few days, and people here in this trailer and then we can help where we're affected by the disaster. Excellent. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Thank you.